Hello student, in previous lecture we already studied about nodes and antinodes. How antinode is formed and node is formed? When particles are vibrate with maximum amplitude. Particles are vibrate with maximum amplitude are called as antinodes and particles is vibrate with minimum amplitude then form on nodes minimum amplitude nodes are formed and maximum amplitude antinode particles vibrate at maximum amplitude antinodes are formed antinodes and nodes are alternate form antinodes and nodes are alternate form antinode node antinode node Therefore, antinode to node distance from antinode to node and distance to successive antinode. Distance between antinode to node and antinode to successive antinode is lambda by 2. Antinode to antinode distance is lambda by 2. But antinode to node distance is lambda by 4. The distance is lambda by 4. Here, antinode to node distance, node to antinode to node distance. Then, we learn about the properties of stationary waves. Properties of stationary wave. The first property of stationary wave. Definition of stationary wave. How to form the stationary waves? Two identical waves. First wave and second wave. Two identical waves. They are travel in the medium. Two identical waves travel in a medium along the same path. Along the same path but are in the different direction are moving in different direction. That wave moves in backward direction and another wave moving forward direction. The two waves are two identical waves are superimposed. The two waves are superimposed or interfere with each other. Then Formation of antinodes, nodes, again antinode, then antinode to node, node to antinode, then formation of stationary waves, definition of stationary waves, two identical. The two waves are identical, their amplitudes are same. Two waves having the same amplitude. Two identical wave, progressive waves, superimposed or interfere with each other. They travel in the medium along the same path but in different direction, in opposite direction, in exactly opposite to each other. In opposite to each other, then form stationary wave. Stationary wave forming the forms in loop form. Stationary waves are in the loop form. One loop, node to node distance, then form one loop. In one loop, particles are vibrate. All particles in a loop, first loop, are vibrated in that manner, but the successive loop Another loop, the particles are vibrate in downward direction. Therefore, the velocity of the particle is zero. The velocity of the wave is zero. That velocity is zero means that wave is also known as standing wave. Standing wave. First property, definition of the stationary wave. 
definition of stationary wave. Two identical progressive waves are moving along the same path but in opposite direction then form stationary wave. First property. Second property that two waves, two identical waves are considered that two waves either progress either transverse or longitudinal wave. Then in transverse in transverse in two identical transverse wave superimposed or interfere or interfere then their resultant then their resultant is transverse stationary wave transverse stationary wave in transverse wave super two identical two transverse waves superimposed or interfere then their resultant is transverse stationary wave in transverse stationary wave the first point is considered as that figure will be considered at anti node particles are vibrate with maximum amplitude particles are vibrate with maximum amplitude with maximum amplitude the point at which the particles are vibrate with maximum amplitude anti nodes are formed at that point anti nodes form at that point anti nodes are formed second point particles are vibrate with minimum amplitude particles are vibrate with minimum amplitude particles vibrate with minimum amplitude minimum amplitude at that points form nodes at that points are called as nodes third point the particles in between anti node and node particles in between anti node and node their value is amplitude is minimum its value is zero and at anti node its amplitude is a therefore their values particles in between anti node to node the amplitudes of the particles are vibrate with the amplitude their amplitudes is lies between 0 to a in between anti node to node anti node to node with amplitude their amplitude particles vibrate with amplitude 0 to a their values lies between 0 to a in similar manner the two longitudinal waves superimpose or interfere then their resultant is longitudinal stationary wave first point in longitudinal wave Particles are vibrate with maximum amplitude at that point form anti nodes. Particle vibrate with minimum amplitude forms node. 
and in between anti node to node particles vibrate with amplitude 0 to a next property the distance between two successive nodes the distance between two successive node is distance between node to node is lambda by 2. Next property, third property, fourth property, distance between, distance between antinode to antinode lambda by 2. And fourth, next property, fifth property, distance between antinode to node or node to antinode that distance is lambda by 4 that distance node to node that distance is denoted by lambda by 2 and antinode to node is lambda by 4 these are the properties of stationary waves and sixth property all particles, all particles in one loop, in a one loop or first loop, they are vibrate, all particles in a single loop are in same phase. Particles in, particles vibrate in a single loop are in phase. In a single loop, particles vibrate particles vibrate in same phase. In same phase. But for its successive loop, first loop and its successive loop is that loop, the particles are vibrate in another loop are out of phase. Particles in a single loop, in a single loop particles vibrate in same phase but particles vibrate in another loop they are out of phase. Seventh property and eighth property. Stationary waves do not move forward and backward. Their velocity is zero. Therefore, stationary wave is also known as standing wave. Stationary wave is also known as standing wave. These are the properties of stationary waves. Now, we will learn about what is the difference between stationary wave and simple harmonic progressive wave. Simple harmonic progressive wave. The difference in between simple harmonic. Progressive wave. And another wave is a stationary wave. It's stationary wave. What is the difference between simple harmonic progressive wave and stationary wave? In a stationary wave, we learn about that the particles do not move in for forward or backward direction. Therefore, their velocity is zero. Means particle do not travel from one region to another region. But here, simple harmonic progressive wave, particles are travel. Particles are travel from one region. One region to another with definite velocity with definite velocity but in term 
in the stationary waves particles are vibrate but they do not travel from one region to another region therefore its velocity is zero second with definite velocity second characteristic or second property second difference in between these two waves simple harmonic progressive wave and stationary wave first point velocity is zero second the particles have same amplitude particles have same amplitude particles have same amplitude but here at node at node amplitude is amplitude is minimum and node and anti node amplitude is maximum is maximum particles have particles all particles vibrate with same amplitude but at node amplitude is minimum and at anti node amplitude is maximum in stationary wave third difference energy travel from progressive wave means progressive wave that type of wave is known as progressive wave and stationary waves stationary waves transfer simple harmonic progressive wave energy energy transfer from one point to another point but here no transfer of energy no transfer of energy next point fourth point energy transfer from one point to another and energy do not transfer transfer from one point to another next property fourth property phase change phase change particle to particle particle to particle where particle first particle phase changes from particle to particle but here in a loop one loop phase is constant in another loop phase is different but in a single loop phase is same particles are vibrate are in the same phase hence phase change particle phase changes from particle to particle but here for property particles in a single loop are in same phase are in same phase but in adjacent loop adjacent loop phase change adjacent loop phase changes phase changes phase directly change where particles are vibrating in upward direction where particles are vibrating downward direction therefore particle in a single loop are in same phase but in adjacent loop particles are in out of phase or phase changes 
next property energy is transferred particles are we studied about simple harmonic progressive wave and stationary waves where particles are traveled from one region to another region with definite velocity in stationary waves particles do not travel from one region to another region with it's because of its velocity is zero second particles have same amplitude of all particles particles have same amplitude they are vibrate with same amplitude but at node is amplitude is minimum at the anti node is amplitude is maximum third point energy transfer from one point to another point energy do not transfer from point one point to another point and fourth property or the fourth difference in between the simple harmonic progressive wave and stationary wave phase change from particle to particle but particle in a single loop are in same phase but its adjacent loop particle the phase changes particles vibrate with out of phase means their phase is change these are the difference in between the simple harmonic progressive wave and stationary wave